Analysts expect softer inflation over the final few months of 2018. This while Bank Central ng Pilipinas Governor Nestor Espinilla Jr. says they have kept the door open for further tightening moves should inflation remain elevated beyond the 2 to 4 percent target. To give us more insights, Business World's Melissa Luz Lopez comes to us live from Quezon City. Now, uh, Mel, before we talk about inflation, quick question on the economy in general. What are they saying will drive growth during the second semester? And will it be enough to realize the 7 to 8 percent government targets? Yes, Robbie. Analysts at First Metro Investment Corporation expect a faster rate of 6.5% or less for the third quarter. While that is definitely faster than the underwhelming 6% growth we've seen during the second quarter, that is well below the 7 to 8% government goal. What will drive up faster growth during the second half of 2018 is increased infrastructure activity as well as manufacturing. That will be fueled by investments by both government uh, as they expect uh, a surge in government spending to boost activity as well as foreign investments coming in from foreign investors. Others that will drive growth include uh, remittances which will sustain a stronger domestic consumption as we know uh, household spending uh, grew at a slower rate during the second quarter, which is believed to have impacted the quarter's uh, economic growth. Uh, a recovery in exports is also being considered, so that could boost uh, growth prospects during the second half. Okay, and in the meantime, we are talking about inflation. Now, inflation, as observers are saying, has been a drag on actual GDP growth during the second quarter. What's the outlook now, and will prices go even higher? Yes, uh, well, the expectation is that uh, inflation will peak within the third quarter, so the worst is not over. Uh, FMIC is actually seeing a faster rate of 5.9% this month. Uh, that is faster than the July's 5.7% inflation rate. But it's expected that uh, the rate will slowly ease over the next few months. Uh, in particular, FMIC sees inflation easing to 5.2% in September and 5% by October. But that will not be enough to bring back the full year print to the 2 to 4% which the central bank is targeting. Okay, in the meantime, the peso is also a factor here. Uh, what are expectations? Will it strengthen or weaken? Well, uh, the FMIC expects that the recent rate hikes introduced by the Banco Central will help lift the peso from its depreciation trend. Uh, we're currently trading at the 53, 53 pesos per dollar level, and that is expected to hold over the next few months. The risks are expected to rise uh, uh, coming into the fourth quarter, especially due to upcoming rate hikes by the United States Federal Reserve, as well as stronger U.S. economic growth. Uh, FMIC actually expects inflation to reach around 53.76 peso per dollar around October. Okay, that was Mel Lopez joining us from the Business World office in Quezon City.